This is Nando for the Pound for Pound Boxing Show here at Wembley. I'm here with Ebony Jones. Ebony, we've been waiting for this day for a while. Boxer, Sky Sports, it doesn't get better than that, does it? No, I'm so excited. How have you prepared for this fight? Obviously, Beth Connolly, is that still your opponent right now? Do you, do you know much about her? No, she's ranked five. Um, not really, to be honest. No, not much. I know enough. But, yeah. How do you prepare for a fight like that? Because obviously your focus was on Beck Connolly. We know yeah. what Beck can do. She can come forward. She, she doesn't stop coming forward. Obviously, she got stopped by Ebony Bridges. But when a new opponent comes in, how do you prepare for that mentally? Uh, to be honest, I didn't need to change much. I have a little watch. Like, don't need to really change the tactics that much. Obviously, you're coming into the bantamweight division. What a division! Shannon Courtney, Ebony Bridges, even Beck Connolly as well. Raven Chapman coming in. How much are you looking forward to getting into that mix? Well, I'm actually uh, first with Ben Wright. Uh, we're gonna have a few fun fights. See how it goes. The aim is to go to That'd be brilliant because your featherweight, if you go to super featherweight, you've got the likes of next week Louise Orton making her debut. You had uh, Amy Andrews make her debut last month as well. Terry Harper eventually. How, how much does that excite you that you could go up and down? Yeah, definitely. Like, the Amy Andrews fighter, Raven Chapman, so you've got them, all them sorts of girls to be fighting as well as, as, well as the others. Brilliant. And um, do you feel honoured that you're in an era where women's boxing is so big right now that you can have a women's main event, you can have a co-main event, the likes of Katie Taylor that's put that on the map for young fighters like yourself. Yeah, it's so exciting that I'm coming into something like that and I'm truly talking about it when we get a reason. I'm coming at a good time. I just can't wait to show, um, show what I'm made of. Brilliant. And obviously the, the women's game, it moves so fast. After three, four fights, you can even get a, a title shot. Does that excite you at all? It does excite me, but I don't think I'll oh, get a world title after just that many fights. I don't think I'm, I feel like it's rushed. Once you win a world title, that's it. Like, you can go from there, you know what I mean? So, I'm like, no rush. I'm going to be active all the time. Just enjoying it. Is there, if there's any young females looking, watching this, watching you on TV, think, I want to be the next Ebony Jones, what advice would you give them if they because you know you have that that fear of going into the gym and starting what what um, advice would you give them uh, you just got to train hard I've always trained hard um, but yeah, I've got my knees it's really slow to get to where I am now but that's just what I'm talking brilliant and for the fans that are going to be travelling down to see you on Saturday and tuning in what message do you have for them I'm just so thankful really friends and family the only tickets are back to the hotel Brilliant. Ebony Jones, can't wait for your debut and your journey as well. Thank you.